Well, Carla, we want to take this opportunity to wish a happy uh, 25th anniversary to our Chicago Spanish language newspaper, hmm. the Chicago Catolico. Uh, we have a, a video package that shows, helps us to understand why that newspaper is important to the Latino community in Chicago. Sure. Let's take a look. The 25th anniversary edition of Chicago Catolico is hot off the presses. The historic anniversary of the Archdiocese of Chicago's Spanish language newspaper was celebrated with a prayer service in St. James Chapel on the near north side. Cardinal Francis George congratulated the Catolico staff for writing interesting and compelling stories about our Catholic faith. They're stories of good people, of uh, good works, uh, stories that inspire courage, stories that inspire hope. In that sense, they're truly evangelical. They're truly stories that the Lord uh, would want to be spread. Uh, and uh, we should continue to do this, not only with the print media, but as you know, we're more and more involved in electronic communications and the new means of social communications, as they're called. <laughs> Following the prayer service, a marimba band entertained guests at the 25th anniversary celebration. Among the attendees was Miguel Arias, editor of Catolico in the mid-90s. I mean, it's very, very nice to see the growth, the fruits, the harvest in the archdiocese, in the service that is provided, and also in the attention that uh, people in the United States pay to, what, uh, pay to what happens here in Chicago. People always talk about Chicago, what's going on in Chicago, 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 and it's good to be on the spot. Over the years, Chicago Catolico has captured the essence of being a Spanish-speaking Catholic in the Archdiocese of Chicago. Countless events have been covered, but there is much more to be found in the present-day publication. Uh, what we have within the pages of Catolico, we offer catechesis, we offer uh, uh, reflections by Father Marco Mercado, our director of Hispanic ministry. We offer the Cardinal's Column, which is our most popular and most widely read uh, uh, column. We also offer a calendar. Uh, we offer an opportunity for people to connect with one another. Um, that's really been the focus of the publication. The pioneers um, decided that this would be an opportunity for or, or, or a mechanism to be able to get people out of thinking outside of their parishes. Almost 17,000 copies of each edition are distributed to 140 parishes with Hispanic ministries. It's a valuable faith resource to the growing Spanish-speaking Catholic population. For the Church of the Cardinal and you, I'm Jim Dish. You know, Cardinal, I hadn't realized that uh, the Catolico had been around for that many years. Mm -hmm. 25 is mm -hmm. a significant milestone. It is, and it's a very important paper, not just for Latino Catholics, but for the archdiocese, because it uh, makes them very visible. They are already, they're a third of the archdiocese. Yeah. So um, I'm very grateful to all those who make Catolico possible.